Hi everyone and welcome to my house. Uh, I'm standing in the service yard at the back of uh, my HDB unit and we have a little nice service area right here. Uh, this is the beginning of a three-part series about dishwashers. So we all live in small houses here in Singapore and sometimes you may or may not have the space for a built-in dishwasher. So just like me, I went out to get a, a well, countertop dishwasher and I'm going to be installing it. So the first episode will be installing this thing. The second one will be a review on my thoughts of this uh, dishwasher. And on the third one, I actually bought this. This is an ultrasonic dishwasher and I got it off uh, Taobao AliExpress. I'm going to be doing a review on this as well. So it's a three-part series. Do subscribe if you want to see updates and leave a comment. And uh, of course, I'll get into it. So, I got this dishwasher off uh, AliExpress and uh, it cost me about 300 bucks. Okay, at first I thought it was all plastic, but um, it's a metal construction. It opens up upwards and uh, to me that saves space. There are the ones that flip down. I don't really like it because then you have a tray that sticks out right here. I don't have a lot of space. Um, where the camera is is my wall already, so I don't have a lot of uh, real estate here and I don't want a tray to flip down and block the, the door so this is uh, this is pretty good comes with a rack um, looks like quite a good quality water hose there's a paperwork, a manual here and uh, there's this tray oh, let's get rid of that uh, it comes with one tray, it can only go in one way there's some that you know it can rotate but this one only has one way and the um, the cutlery tray does not come out, so it's, it's fixed. Uh, there's only one spinning arm. If, like me, you get one without a water tank, you need to uh, adjust, you know, modify your tap, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that later, so that you have fresh water and waste water into the machine. But if you have a tank, you can just put it beside your sink, and you know, run the waste hose into the sink, and that, that works fine. But in this instance, I don't have a tank, so I do have to hook it up to my house mains. So we're going to take this off and we'll have a look at what we have over there. Okay, so very conveniently, this is my washing area. And being in a small home, I would always recommend uh, people live in apartments to get a front loader instead of a top load. And why that is, is because you do have a surface on top of the front loader and this can act as a table or a, or a surface uh, what I did many years ago is to build this uh, wooden counter uh, to act as an extended um, surface where I could do you know I could do my drying I have my uh, my rice cooker I used to have a thermal pot and stuff up there but today this is where the uh, the dishwasher is going to live so I've got a water connection right here the drain is right there okay and then I have power so you need these three things in order to put your, um, your dishwasher in this area. If you don't have a table like me, having a flat uh, front load, you know, you have a flat top, the dishwasher can sit on top of the washing machine. So small space, remember, everything needs multi-purpose. This is a washer, dryer, and a work surface for me. Okay, I'm gonna be taking a closer look here. Okay, so this is my countertop, uh, you know, excuse the scuff marks, this thing is probably about uh, five years old already. Okay, as you can see, my water goes into, the, uh, into a hole in the back. So what we need to do is we need to extend the, um, the water pipe. Okay, so the plan is to extend this below the counter and have my split there. Because if I'm going to put in a split, uh, this splitter, you can see it's too short, the, um, the countertop is blocking this. So I have to extend the pipe below this hole. And to do that, what I've got is a female 3 quarter inch uh, compression fitting, which would be attached to that part. I also have half inch stainless steel pipe. I've got 3 quarter inch male. This will be the one which connects to, um, to this, which is the split. And finally, the split would be attached to the uh, water inlet. I also got a bunch of washers here. 
and this is a y, a y joint with a bit of waste pipe and this would go into my uh, waste drain which is below below the cabinet right there so first you want to turn off the water make sure no water is running over time this gets a bit fragile so you want to be a bit uh, gentle with it so I'm going to turn this out and right before you do anything you want to put this all together so grab yourself uh, I've uh, two you know, two wrenches. I've got an adjustable wrench and an adjustable spanner here. You grab your compression fittings, you take them all apart. Okay. First off, you want to put the, uh, the nut, the tightening nut, over top. You want to grab the olive or the compression ring, both ends. And finally, the end of the compression fitting to one. Give that a tighten. And give this a tighten on this end. Now, there are some guys that like to put white tape over the, uh, the fittings. But this is designed so that when you tighten it, the brass ring clamps down tight on the pipe. So you don't really have to use uh, white tape. Okay, give that, give that a grab. Okay, I'm going to open up the jaws of my spanner. Okay, clamp it on. And then I'm going to tighten it. You know, you don't want to go too tight. You just want it just to co compress. So I'm going to grab... Grab this end, okay, grip it tightly and you turn, just slightly. That is enough to create a watertight seal. You don't want to go with it at full strength, just one quarter is more than enough. Same sort for this side. Okay, and there you go. So that's how you do it. And for this end, all I need to do is poke it in and turn. There you go. So that's how you put this split together and I'm going to put this in from below. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to shut off the, the valves below. I think I'll bring you guys down there so you can see what you're So we have the bottom of the pipe right there, okay? And this one, I'm going to loosen, turn it around because I want this to be over here. I'm going to tighten this up. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to make sure all of this is off, off, and cross line. Okay, I'm going to turn on the water and hopefully there aren't any leaks. If there are leaks, I'm going to tighten everything up again. And this one, where this goes, this goes, you know, inside here, right there. And there we go. So, you know, I've got the washer and later the dishwasher will go inside there. This one, okay, let me just give it a turn. Oh, I've put in the washing machine inlet hose. I'm going to put in the inlet hose for the uh, dishwasher. So the pipe that I've got here, right, is a half inch, half inch pipe, okay? And the tap that I've got there is a three quarter inch. So I've got a bunch of connectors, which I'm going to use to, uh, to connect the pipe to the water source. And I think the pipe comes with a washer. Okay, so I got a connector, uh, an adapter, a washer. This fits in just nicely. Um, you know, for good measure, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some white tape on the ends. That's to prevent any leaks. Okay, so six rounds of uh, tape. Okay, make that nice and tight. Don't forget your washer in. And then connect this to the, to the tap.
Hey, this end, this is where the fresh water hose goes. So, when it comes up from the back, it comes around this way. Just tighten that on. And this here is the wastewater hose. You cut oops, drainage hose right here, and this will go into the uh, the main drain. Okay, I think this one comes here better, and then this one. And so the dishwasher is working. Uh, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna do a bit, a few experiments with it to see how good it actually is. I'll give you my honest thoughts. So if you like that, do leave a like, uh, share, and subscribe. And of course, I'll leave a comment below. Uh, any questions that you might have with regard to countertop dishwashers or uh, small, tiny dishwashers in general, and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Thank you very much, and take care.